Today we're launching our innovation centre and we see a huge emerging market for intelligent mobility. Our role is to help UK-based business to capture a bigger share of that huge market, which we've estimated to be about £900 billion per annum globally by 2025. The theme of this catapult is what's called intelligent mobility. So this is, instead of, of course we need new roads, we need new rail systems, I speak too, we need airport capacity, but it's much more important that we help people and goods to move around in a more intelligent way using all the information that's now available. The sentiment mapping is the use of data that you can get from various different information sources and mapping that onto uh, a geographical area and extracting from it how people are feeling about particular locations at particular points in time. That can be really useful for other passengers because they can understand what's happening with the services but it can also be very useful for operators who can use it to improve the way the services are delivered. Okay, and could you give us a kind of a rating of your journey on a scale of 1 to 10 where 10 was absolutely perfect, you arrived dot all the time and 1 was uh, you were extremely late and arrived rather grumpy? Well, I arrived early at Euston. Um, an intelligent mobility system of taxis, um, despite the traffic in London, we got there early. We're a small company, we're a startup, and so having a relationship with a big innovation centre like this gives us the opportunity to do development, design of uh, projects that we wouldn't have the opportunity to do elsewhere, but it also is a great platform for being able to meet people, explain the kind of work we're doing, and to collaborate with um, big organisations, small organisations alike. What this will help us do is provide a better transport system for the UK, but in a much more intelligent, less wasteful way.